This is as legit as it gets. I'm at the kitchen table. I have just upgraded to TechDP Pro. Video in reference to these things, these are the small cameras. Uh, I've got two of them here. I had to zoom in a little bit. Reference to these two small cameras, uh, this is the front side. And I am not some giant who, well I am a giant who's six feet tall. Um, my fingers are quite large. But the, do not be surprised by how small these things are in the mail. Um, you probably not even realize you got the package in the mail. Here's the back, here's the front, I've got two of them. I think I got about half a dozen of these laying around the house. I've, um, also got one here on my rotor. Uh, kind of tacky double stick tape to some folded up paper that I zip tied to some more double stick tape. Um, one thing before I get started, uh, a GoPro is high definition. A GoPro is also very expensive. Um, GoPros are great for the first person shooter that have a wide angle lens, high def, um, they actually perform quite well in low light, um, much better than these. Um, but the advantage of having these cameras is that you can do exactly what the GoPros do for much, much cheaper. All this equipment in my hand um, cost me $200. And it all cost me $200 because the rotor cost me $150. Believe it or not, I got all three of these cameras with cards for under $50. You can actually do a pair of these for about $40. Um, if you buy enough in bulk and buy enough of cards in bulk, you can probably get it down to maybe $10 to $12 per camera card combo. So most definitely um, check them out. Uh, uh, actually, you know, if you want, if you're really hooked on one, you know you're going to buy one. Pause this video right now. Link in the description. Go to eBay and buy them. They take three weeks to get here from, I think, Hong Kong, China. So do not hesitate to order one. Order one now if you want one anywhere in the near future. And I'm not shipping mine. Um, I'll show you how to operate them. Um, it's uh, pretty much. Uh, it looks like a key fob. Car keys, extra keys. All right. Jeep key. What does it say? There it goes. Jeep. I think you can see that. There it goes. Jeep. And there's my key. Um, here's a standard quick set key. Now that light you guys use on your house in comparison to the unit itself. So you can put on here a key fob. Nobody will know the difference. You see four buttons up here? No, you see two. On um, These two buttons here on the bottom side are fake. They don't even move. This bottom button right here is dedicated to the power. Top button right here. So as far as this, you've got the um, eyelet keyhole, two fake mock buttons, power button, camera video button, your camera lens, your microphone for audio pickup. Um, here on the side, you do have a USB mini adapter, your um, micro SD card slot, and also a small reset button for when your camera goes nuts. These were made in China, they cost about $7, they will go nuts. But that's pretty much all you need to know about them. Uh, micro SD card slot actually goes in kind of upside down. And, we go ahead and switch hands. Uh, the top of the card, go, the top of the camera goes here. The card actually goes upside down. You do not see the card, logo, or information. All you see is the strip, so it'll just be kind of... And it doesn't go in there as cleanly as like a cell phone. Of course, a cell phone is usually nowadays a $400 piece of equipment. But, let's see, let me make sure I have it right. Yeah. So once it goes in there, it still has the spring die action if you can listen. Um, same spring back system that a lot of uh, micro SD cards have and that's about it. Okay, so when you power the camera on, you hold this uh, bottom button for a little bit. So on, let go, and then turn on. Okay, let's try again. On, let go. Okay, this camera unit is probably dead. As far as capacity, these are really, really great. You have a 680 
um, 620 by 480 um, at I think about 30 frames per second. Not too bad. It's a 4.3 aspect ratio. Um, I wish it was 69. You can crop up the video. Just um, keep that in a keep that in mind. It's a 4.3 aspect ratio and not widescreen like what you're watching now. As far as uh, bandwidth, it does record in AVI format. Um, the bit rate is a bit of a memory hog for something that shoots at standard definition at 30 frames per second. It's roughly one megabyte per second of video. So a five minute video taken with this thing is going to be roughly 300 megabytes. Uh, that being said, uh, you are, this is pretty much something that you're going to have to do a, a lot of frequent memory dumps on. Uh, I've got a 4 gig card in right here. Uh, I wouldn't dare try anything with a 1 gig card or a 2 gig card. You just run out of video unless you had uh, just one shoot. So this is something going to be using all day. Uh, be sure to have a 4 gig card, preferably an 8 gig card. Uh, these do have a battery life of I think about 30 to 45. Yeah, and they're quite durable. Somewhat durable. And if you break them, they're only 7 bucks. Um, these have a battery life of roughly 30 to 45 minutes. So keep that in mind. Don't go and buy a 16 gig card. Uh, for one, it might be co not be compatible. And then you have a lot more memory than battery life. And while you charge it, you could go ahead and wipe the card and empty uh, move the card content to your computer and have a fresh empty card ready to go. So don't buy, don't spend more on your uh, memory than you actually do on the cameras unless you plan on using the memory cards for something else. Okay, so back onto the operation. This one is dead. Um, by the way, you just plug them up for about 30 minutes to an hour to your computer with a USB-A to USB mini cable, charges it, you can also move the content off while it's charging. Okay, so this one, okay, yeah, this guy works. Press the power button, hold it, let go, and you have this orange LED light. Now, it's going haywire at this point because there's no memory card in there, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this guy up. Down, up, and the memory card's back off. If it doesn't have a card in there, it'll do the haywire flashing. So I just put a card inside, as you can see. So let's try this dance again. Power on. There you go. And it's just going to sit there. Um, I think it might have an auto wall function, but I'll save it set up there for at least two minutes. At that point, I turn it off to save battery. But that's what it is. Okay, in order to take a still picture, you just press the, uh, press the camera button one time, and it will flash. And I'll show you the picture I just took. It's probably my ceiling. As for the video mode that you guys all love, you press and hold the button. It will flash, flash, flash three times. So blink, blink, blink. And then it will turn off. As of right now, it is recording. So if I actually look at myself right here recording, I can flip it around a little bit. And now you're looking at the camera. Zoom in, zoom out. Uh, check out my fruit bowl. Yeah, Mike's, Mike's kitchen table didn't have a fruit bowl. Um, it also has some, some sound. At this point, I will trim down my video camera sound and do to the main sound. I'm not going to show you all in my house. I want to be as private as possible. Um, but it's a kind of cool camera. So now it's time to turn the camera off. Right now it's still recording. Press the button once. Don't hold it this time. Just press it. Light will come back on, the recording has stopped, and it is now back into its main standby mode, and then you power off with the bottom button. The LED isn't too bright. Um, if, 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 you, if you do this during the day, you'll probably be able to see it, unless you've got some like crazy funky lenses. Um, but that's the camera. Um, as far as this, I'll give you the link information. If you have any more questions or this video sucked, um, send me a message or comment down below. Deuces. Be safe. Stay cool. God bless. See you later.